What's going on guys, another big trade down the NHL earlier today, Boston trading David Backus, Axel Anderson, and a first round pick to the Anaheim Ducks for Andre Kasha. So, kind of surprised by this, honestly, I thought Kasha was like one of the younger players on the Ducks they are trying to build that team around, but obviously they're getting a pretty good return here. Now they are taking on Backus' contract, so I personally feel like it's a pretty good trade for both sides. I'll start off by looking at Kasha, who actually has a lot less trade value in game than I thought he would. Um, as you guys can see, we still haven't gotten to him yet. There he is, 23 years old, 82 overall, 2.6 million for the next two years. It's a pretty good contract, uh, low top 6 for potential. Obviously, he's a player that's injured quite a lot, but when he's healthy, he's a pretty good player. I think last year he was averaging like almost a point per game when he was healthy. So um, again, solid player there, 23 years old, 82 overall, he's a sniper. Let me actually check that stat from last year. Uh, not quite, okay, so 20 points, 30 games, 11 goals, 9 assists, um, 38 and 66. Again, yeah, he can't really stay healthy, but when he is healthy, He's a pretty good player, so I'm guessing Ducks probably just, you know, tired of him always being injured. So, Boston here, obviously, as long as he can stay healthy for them, I think he's a good player. They have him for the rest of this year as well as next year, and they're actually able to unload David Backus' contract. So, if you look at trade value on Boston, I'm sure Backus will be the lowest one on it. And, yeah, he is. 35 years old, 70 cent overall, $6 million for two more years. So, looking at it from a Dex perspective, like, the rest of this year, who cares? And then next year... I mean, it's one year, they're not going to be really contenders next year anyways. Also, too, Boston's actually retained 25% of his contract. So, um, quick math would say that's only $4.5 million for Bacchus. Like, that's not too bad. Uh, they can probably put Kessler on LTIR if they really needed to. And then also, too, they get Axel Anderson in a first-round pick. Um, I think Anderson was a former first or second-round pick. Solid defensive prospect, 19 years old, 67 overall there. Medium top for D. And let me check here. Yeah, it was a second-rounder, 2018. Uh, should, you know, turn out to be an NHLer, will he be top six guy, top four guy? I think it's a little bit too early to tell, but uh, still a solid defensive prospect there. And then, of course, the first round pick 2020. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised by how many teams are trading their first round pick this year, as the 2020 draft is supposed to be, like, one of the best drafts in a while with a ton of depth. So, um, even if you're, you know, making the playoffs, picking 20-something, there's going to be a good player available. So, I was just kind of shocked, basically, to see even the contending teams uh, still need to give up their first round pick. Like, I might even give up a 2021 first. If I, you know, plan on making the playoffs again next year, and I think the 2020 draft is so much deeper. But, uh, yeah, right here is the trade. Boston to Anaheim. I feel like there's no way they say no to this. Honestly, though, I feel like the way the trade breaks down, basically, Boston's trading Bacchus and, I guess, Anderson or first, like, take your pick um, to Anaheim to take that contract. And then the other one, whether it be Anderson or the first, is basically like a one-for-one -one for Kasha. I feel like it's probably Bacchus and the first to take the contract and Anderson one for one for Kasha, but can't forget to have to retain 25% on this deal. Again, that should be uh, 1.5 million right on. So I feel like the Ducks should say yes here, but even though the value is on our side by quite a bit, sometimes they're weird about taking on contracts. I feel like we're paying them a nice price to do it. So let's see what happens. Trade is accepted. Okay, so there you go. And before the trade, guys, Boston's team stats was champion, so obviously adding Kasha just makes them even better. They're actually first place in the NHL right now, which I didn't even realize. I knew they were one of the top teams. I didn't actually realize they are first place. So just going to show you guys what I think their lines might look like. Obviously, that first line's nasty. Marchand, Bergeron, Pashanak. Surprised they get zero chemistry in-game. Like, I feel lines like that that are, you know, have a lot of chemistry in your life, it should translate to the game regardless of the coach. Uh, so second line, Kasha's supposed to kind of slot in on that second line right wing. Playing with Krejci and DeBrusk, which I think is really awesome for them. Um, when they traded for Coyle last year, they were thinking Coyle might play there. But I feel like he's better fit as that third line center. So now they have Cash on the second line. Kind of completes that line. You got Bjork playing with Coyle and Heinen on the third line. So Heinen drops down, just makes that line even better. Fourth line's pretty solid. Uh, Wagner, Crowley, Nordstrom. So again, top team in the league gets even better defensively. I feel like they have a good group of six defensemen there. And then of course in goal, you got Rask and Halak. Good backup, good starter. Uh, definitely could be a tough team to compete against. Uh, we'll see whether or not they play Toronto again in the first round. I feel like that's probably my favorite first round playoff series to watch now, but I also do feel bad usually as one top team is going home early. But I um, also want to show you guys what Cash looks like here with the Boston Bruins jersey. I'm not sure if he has got an in-game face or not. I feel like he doesn't, but we'll find out here in a second. And maybe, I don't know, it kind of looks like him, kind of not. But yeah, right there, Kasha. Uh, remember the Boston Bruins again. I think that's a really good trade for the Bruins and the Ducks. Uh, so we'll now try that trade from the Ducks perspective and see what they say. Like I was saying, guys, going to try this trade as the Ducks now. Obviously, I don't know if it's going to go through or not because I feel like when you're trading for a bad contract, um, you're adding stuff, you know, to make the contract worth it. The value is always, you know, skewed in that way. Now, Kasha, as you can see, Boston does want. Also, they have both Anderson and the first round pick on the block. Backs there, of course, still retaining that salary. So it might work. I totally forgot to mention, too, Kasha, of course, had him in my video yesterday where he's on the California team. Literally the next day, no longer in a California team, but uh, whatever. That's just kind of typical. So we'll see here what they say. I feel like 
Even though the value is so far off, I feel like there's a chance. Here we go. Trades rejected, okay. Um, the value just isn't where it needs to be. I'm kind of curious now where Boston feels it's fair to take on the Bacchus contract. So we're going to try a second round pick here. And trade still rejected. I mean, maybe they want Anderson for Kasha plus Bacchus. That just doesn't seem fair though, because I feel like Cash is just as good as Anderson, if not better. Plus, we're taking on the contract, so we need at least a third. Otherwise, I don't know what Boston's thinking here. Trade is still rejected, so yeah. Um, Boston, they reject that. Yeah, so in game, I feel like they still need to work a little bit on like how bad a contract is in terms of like the value you're taking on. But um, in game, they do say you know uh, Anaheim wins this trade, they're getting a lot more value. But in real life, I feel like it's pretty fair for both parties, just because Boston did not only pick up cash as well, they unloaded back his contract, which is actually kind of funny because that happens all the time in our franchise sims, so to see it happen in real life, you know, kind of cool. Next to that trade, guys, Anaheim team status actually goes down from hopeful to rebuilder, so kind of like the other two Cali teams, LA and San Jose, I feel like they're all just trying to like trade away their assets to give themselves the best shot at winning first overall and drafting Lexi Lafreniere. So as you guys can see here, the Ducks lines uh, are based on real life, so they're not looking too good though. Mostly 70s, a few 80s, you know, spread about, but um, not too great. Back is fourth line center, maybe, maybe just scratched, honestly. Uh, defensively, decent top four, they're okay. Gibson, of course, um, the best player on that team, in my opinion. But yeah, the Ducks, you know, they're definitely rebuilding, but the good thing for them is they have so many good young pieces. Obviously, drafted Trevor Zegris. Uh, Gibson, even, like, is still pretty young. Sam Steele on the team, Troy Terry, Lundstrom, like, lots to look forward to. So, I figure you'll take a look here at Backus on the Anaheim Ducks. And it's really not a jersey to expect to see him in. And as you can see there, yeah, David Backus as the Anaheim Duck does uh, kind of look a little bit weird. But hopefully it'll be a good mentor for the young guys on that team. And that's going to be it, guys, for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up. As always, in the comments section, let me know which team you think won this trade. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.